The ANC hasn't paid salaries for three months to its own staff. And, and, and this is an organization that will now intercede to, to stop the independence of the Cape. I don't think so. I think... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Moments. Real Moments are sections from longer interviews done on my channel that I think you guys might find interesting. Your Real Moment is in. I would also like to chat to you about another topic because, you know, we're seeing South Africa evolve and change. And I think right now is a very exciting time to be in South Africa, even though things are falling apart. I think the future of South Africa is going to be very interesting. And this is one of the things I wanted to chat to you about. Um, one of the things that is happening is this emergence of the Cape independence uh, movement. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll say right off the bat, I'm a supporter. I live in the Western Cape. Uh, I think it would be a good idea. Um, and I've been chatting to Phil Craig from the Cape Independence Advocacy Group about this topic, and he's been keeping me up to date with everything. Um, where do you stand on this idea? And what do you think? Do you think it's, it's a possibility? Or is this just something that's a symptom to the mm -hmm. decay of South Africa? Yeah, it's amazing how it's grown, hey, this idea. Mm -hmm. It's as the ANC sort of falls apart, the this this movement grows. It's been around for a long time, never taken seriously, but like the idea that the ANC could lose an election, not taken seriously, and suddenly bang, it's upon us. And I believe there's 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 poll around now that shows that more than half the residents of Western Cape are open to a referendum on the subject. Yeah. So I, I I'm still thinking what I think of this. I, I think it's a good thing. And um I can uh, uh, put it put it the other way around. Could you tell residents of the Western Cape that you have to live under the corruption and incompetence of the ANC if they don't want to, that they have to? South Africa is a very young country. It's only 110 years old. And those 110 years trying to govern it out of Pretoria hasn't been very successful, no matter who's tried. And... Um, a, a a federalism makes a lot of sense. So I think, yeah, I, I think I support the idea of, of an independent Cape. What, what in practice does that mean? I, I think there's the risk of being a bit old-fashioned about it, that the idea is that someone will draw a, a sort of line on a map and there is the Transvaal and there is the Cape. Mm. I think it's more subtle and organic. The Western Cape is already independent in many respects. Uh, it's it's attracting a lot of people who are fleeing the collapse of Johannesburg, which is in a, I mean, it's, it is, it is. I, I spent uh, early in the year a month in the states and came back here, and you actually just like think, wow, you know, it's 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 it is crumbling. So a lot of people have exited, a lot of businesses have exited, uh, property prices have held up uh, better in the Western Cape. Um, and I think a lot of people have moved to the Western Cape, have moved to it in order to escape the consequences of ANC rule. And uh, so, yeah, I think it's, it's if I don't, practically can, can it be done, or, you know, is a different question. But it will happen, even if it's not a de jure independence, in a de facto sense, it, it will become increasingly independent. As, as South Africa to the north goes through a very tough decade, which is the one that lies ahead for it. So, yeah, why, why not? Because, uh, because saying no to Cape independence would be to tell the residents of the Western Cape, sorry, uh, you, you can't be free from the yoke of the ANC. You have to suffer the same fate as all of us, even if a significant proportion of those people don't want to. And and that 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 would be. I mean, you obviously can't sustain such an argument. Yeah, but the, you know what? Some people do say that. Some people say that the ANC will never let the Western Cape secede. Uh, they will, you know, pull tactics like people's war tactics, and uh, there will be violence. Helen Zilla believes it will lead to a civil war, which some people have said. You know what? Helen, there are other things that might lead to a civil war, EWC, NHI, uh, you know, the list can go on and on, load shedding. Um, so, I mean, the whole entire country is, uh, well, not the entire country, but most of the country is is crumbling. 
Um, and we just saw with the KZN riots, you know, that was a manifestation of the failure of the ANC. That could become countrywide even without the secession of Western Cape. Um, I don't know. But what would the... But, but Joe, what would the ANC do? It's, it's, an, it's an organization that, I mean, the country, the, the national accounts are, are, are very weak shape. The budget deficit, and that measures how much more does the government spend than it earns. And if, if you're a household, it's the very same as your household budget. Your deficit is how much more do you spend than you earn. That deficit um, into the end of last year and into this year is um, at a level that we've only seen three times since the formation of the Union, um, and that, that was in the First and Second World Wars and during the collapse of apartheid in the 1980s. So the country's bankrupt, state's bankrupt, can't project force and influence effectively anymore. The ANC hasn't paid salaries for three months to its own staff. And, and, and this is an organisation that will now intercede to, to stop the independence of the Cape. I don't think so. I think the, what, what happens is the, the, the move for Cape independence accelerates and the momentum at the same time that the capacity of the ANC to to govern anything beyond the sort of walls of Latuli House recedes. And those two forces will complement each other, which means that the de facto independence is now probably unstoppable. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was your real moment. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please feel free to share it with your friends and family or whoever you think might find it interesting. Give the video a like. It goes a long way to supporting the channel and helping it grow. And this is your second reminder to please subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. And please go check out the Telegram channel. It's a channel, not a group. You just get notified of all the upcoming uploads and live streams on this channel. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.